Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, now on Amazon and Classic Game Room Barware. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Raise your hand if you like to blow things up with helicopters. This guy, it's Tiger Heli for the NES. <laughs> Tiger Heli, Tiger Heli, come in, where are you? There you are. Released in 1986, this is Tiger Heli. You know that Tiger Heli is related to Truxton in a way. It's, it's from Teleplan. And also a claim. How's, I'm not sure how that's possible, but it is. Fans of vertical scrolling helicopter shooters rejoice because even though it says a claim on the game cartridge, Tiger Heli is quite fun, albeit insanely challenging. It is from Toa Plan after all. Makers of Truxton, Twin Cobra, Fire Shark, and the upcoming Truxton vs. Magmax Extreme Volleyball Challenge for the Sega 32X. You see, now I'm just messing with you. But tell me that doesn't sound like the greatest game ever made. Now, am I supposed to be saving these people? Or killing them all? I can't, I'm blowing up their houses and cars. And it's rewarding me with points, so I, I don't know. So I guess this is the prequel to Toa Plan's own Twin Cobra, which I've reviewed for the Genesis and the NES. It's a great game. Probably a little better than this one, but Cobras are way cooler than Tigers. I think it's no contest. This is the best game from Acclaim ever. Acclaim is just the publisher, but at least it's not LJN. Now, as you've probably noticed, an important part of Tiger Heli is your little helis. Which are like your little buddies for Musha. They give you support, protection, and additional firepower. You have two little buddies to choose from, the gray one that shoots directly in front of you, and the red ones which cover your sides. They don't protect you from flying directly into enemy fire, Mark. You gotta love games named after animals. Twin Hawk, Fire Shark, Tiger Heli, Twin Bee. Lots of twins, I guess. And Twin Cobra, don't forget Double Dragon, and of course, Psycho Fox. Which has nothing in common with this game, but a great title. You select your little heli by blowing up the power-up box when it is your desired color. Red gives you the red one, gray gives you the gray one, and green gives you an additional bomb. And the bombs are kind of neat because they also give you added protection. If enemies shoot you from the sides, or shoot you in the sides, and you have a bomb, your bomb will just fall off and explode. Hopefully taking some of them with it. While the music and the backgrounds aren't terribly exciting, the gameplay is really good, what you would expect from Toa Plan. Hard as nails, and a lot of fun. I'm playing this using the Analog NT Mini via HDMI, which amplifies the flicker. There is a lot of flicker in this game. Playing it on a CRT television smooths that out. I'm fairly certain you shoot those little red boxes to earn some extra lives. And I love the cartridge artwork for Tiger Heli. I like that they found a way to give the logo, or the actual title itself, Tiger Stripes. And the helicopter looks really cool too. Looks like Blue Thunder. Tiger Heli is a lot of fun, and unlike a lot of the spaceship shooters, it's really affordable. I guess nobody else likes helicopters. The helicopter games are usually cheaper than the ones with spaceships. That's vehicle discrimination. For just a couple bucks, all of this can be yours. And it should. This doesn't have your traditional huge screen-filling boss battles, but when you do complete each level, you'll get some bonus points depending on how many little helis and bombs you have remaining. 
That is some very still water right there. there there's no wind at all. The backgrounds could use more lava. Like a lot of other games from the era, Tiger Heli doesn't make you feel like you're going anywhere. It sort of repeats itself after a while and the enemies just get way more challenging. You may want to throw your controller against a wall. Don't do that if it's the advantage it will break the wall. This is a lot of fun. Especially if you like these really old school spaceship style shooters or vertical scrolling arcade style shooters. We, we, we can't call this one a spaceship shooter because then the price will go up. So clearly that's what I need to do in order to find a copy of Truxton 2. I need to convince the seller that it has helicopters and not spaceships. So it'll be worth 25 bucks and not like a thousand. Woo! That calls for a beer. But then again, what doesn't? Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. Now on Amazon and Classic Game Room Barware. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A Turbo, Turbo Volcano! Starting with Jeff Breyer! <laughs> Derek Langley! <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson! <laughs> Benjamin Woodring! Benjamin Woodring! Steven Chucknick! Steven Chucknick! Al Stever! Al Stever! Ian Shore! You sure are awesome! Jason Gore. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sink Bell. Dizzy Signal. John Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Strabenmuller. Jack Stavris. Oh, hot And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>